My name is John Ott, and I'm a research engineer here at the IBM TJ Watson Research Center. The room we're in is an anaholic chamber, and this is an SEM, a scanning electron microscope, which is used to help solve some of the problems in processing. When people think about microscopes, they classically think about optical microscopes. So this is an optical microscope, it uses light as the media to reflect off of a sample surface and you capture it and look at it. This microscope uses electrons as the source of how to image. Um, and electrons are, unlike light, cannot be focused by glass lenses. So we have magnetic lenses in this column, which the electrons are formed here by a gun. This is a filament, which is similar to what's inside there. And the electrons are focused and accelerated down the column and strike our sample, which is inside this large chamber. The electron probe is focused and scanned over the sample surface, and the corresponding image is displayed on the screens here. So this allows us maximum resolution of an optical microscope is about a quarter of a micron. The resolution of this scanning electron microscope is two nanometers, which is 0 0.0002 microns. So it's a significantly higher resolution. And that's why we're in this room here, because these, these tools are so sensitive to acoustic vibrations and building vibrations. So we're on the ground floor here in a very quiet and stable room because any vibrations of the building will cause an issue. That will ruin the image. Here at IBM Research, we work on projects that are pretty far out, maybe like 10 or 15 years out. And one of the projects that I personally worked on about, about a dozen years ago was a compound called silicon germanium, which broke onto the scene and replaced a lot of the more expensive classical compounds for GPS chips. Now we all have GPS in our phones and the technology that we worked on uh, some years ago are actually in, in the generation of phones we use now. One way to really appreciate how much magnification the electron microscope gives us is to take an everyday object, like a penny, and look at it. Most people don't realize that Abraham Lincoln is on both sides of the penny. Of course, he's on the front, but if you flip him over, there's a Lincoln Memorial on the back. And if you zoom in really high, you'll see Lincoln sitting inside that memorial. We're gonna do that in this microscope. Electron microscopes operate in a vacuum, so we're gonna load our sample into this vacuum right now. Here goes the rod in. All right, have a look down here. There's what the sample holder looks like with our pennies mounted. All right, here's our sample. I've loaded a penny uh, and a couple of other interesting items in the microscope. The electrons come down out of this cone, strike the object they're gonna illuminate, and then get collected by this detector here, a secondary electron detector. So let's start scanning. And there's the head of our penny, Lincoln's profile. Now let's go to the back of the penny and find the Lincoln Memorial. There it is. And if we mag up and focus. So here's, here's his legs, here's his profile, and he's sitting down inside the Lincoln Memorial. Here's our penny. If you ever need to look at anything up to a half a million X, call me, John Ott. Thank you guys for coming.